Hello fellow exercisers and today I'm going to show you a workout for your upper body using no weights at all and um, this is if you've got your wrist in a cast or it's injured and you can't physically hold on to a dumbbell and you're still through the rehabilitation period. So this um, involves 12 exercises and 45 seconds of working out with a 15 second rest in between each um, exercise there. So if you like it, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit the bell because you need to hit that bell so you can hear the more exercises coming out and let me know how you did your wrist injury in the comments below. So I'd love to hear from you guys. Let me know how you felt the um, exercise went for you today. Let's get cracking. Right, so we're starting with a one minute warm up. Just loosen up through the shoulders. Awakening all the muscles. That's it. We're just opening out through the chest. Being very careful with my wrist here. I'm not going to accidentally bang it into your hand. And I'm going to do some shoulder circles. Open out through the shoulders. Lovely. And back round. On to the other side. Good. Take this one forward and take it back again. And we've got about 15 seconds before we start our workout today. Let's just loosen up again. Making our movements a little bit bigger as we're going through this warm up exercise. And we're going to start with pec squeeze. So here we go. We're taking your elbows to about a right angle at that joint and you're squeezing your forearms in together. Now this is working your pectoral muscles, so your chest muscles. Now it's really easy just to go through these movements and you won't feel anything at all. But you need to activate, activate, activate. So squeeze your pectoral muscles in together, squeeze your chest muscles, get your forearms touching, really feel it. This is 45 seconds. Make yourself work, folks. Come on. You've got to keep the upper body strength up even if you can't use any weights. This is a really good way to do that. We've got three seconds and then you have a breather. You have, just have a breather there. So the next exercise is the lat pull down. You're imagining that you're pulling down um, a big bar or some heavy sacks and you're reaching up and grabbing them and pulling them back down. So off we go. Three, two, one. I'll shoot from behind. Reach and pull. Now again you need to really squeeze Pull the biceps down. Good. Imagine that you're really, really grabbing that rope, grabbing that bar, whatever it is, from the ceiling. Pull it down. Get those muscles activated. Go on, keep it going. We've got 45 seconds in total. That's it. Go on, keep pulling. Strong core in. Tuck your pelvis under. Steady breathing. 10 seconds to go. Come on, folks. That's it. Well done. Two and one and breather. So just roll the shoulders back. Our next exercise is a pec squeeze and we're going to be going back to the beginning but really doing some good pulses. Get ready, here we go. Two and one. So we're pulsing. Come on, keep pulsing. Keep those elbows up high. Don't let them drop if you can help it. Gotta keep them up with the shoulder height. Go on, pulse, pulse, pulse. Touch your forearms together. Touch, touch, touch. Yes. Very good, folks. Come on, we can do this. That's it. Over halfway. Keep it going. Steady breathing. Pelvis under. Good. And pulse. Activate those pectoral muscles. 10 seconds, come and keep those elbows high, keep them high. You can do this. And two, and one, well done. Just roll the shoulders back. We're going for a bent over row. So you're gonna pivot forward from the hips and you're gonna take your hands in front of you. Then you're gonna squeeze between the shoulder blades, bringing the elbows up and out. Here we go. So imagining that we're pulling two sacks off the ground. So my elbows are coming nice and high. Brilliant. And we're squeezing between the shoulder blades. So we're activating 
using our rhomboid muscles. Good, your back needs to be flat. Excellent, keep it going. Lovely, pull up those heavy sacks. Get those biceps and back muscles working. Go on, keep going, keep going. Hold that strong core in. Keep those elbows up high. Try not to let them sag forward. All right, let's keep going. Oh my goodness, you should be feeling it now. Let's go, and breathe up. Whew. So the next exercise is a tricep kickback, same position. Just gonna hinge forward from the waist, elbows close into the body, and you're gonna extend the forearms back. So there's only movement from the elbow from the forearm. Off we go, extending back. Now, again, this one, you need to think about those tricep muscles, the tricep from the back of the arm here. And imagine that you're pushing, ooh, a heavy weight behind you. If you can, turn your palm, and imagine that you've got this heavy sack and you're trying to lift it up and push it away. Do that. If it's hurting too much with your wrist injury, just clasp your fingers together or whatever feels comfortable. Keep that back straight. Steady breathing. Good. Push, push, push. Keep it going. That's it. We've got ooh, eight seconds to go. Come on. We can do this. Core in tight. Soft knees. And one, well done. Just roll the shoulders back there. So we're into arm circles. We're gonna take the arms out to the side into a lateral raise. And circle backwards. We've got four seconds. Get into your position. Here we go. So nice circles all the way around. Ah. Think of this exercise, it's very deceiving. You start off thinking, oh, this feels quite easy. Give it a little bit of time. I'm start to feel a bit heavier. I'm going to increase that pace a little bit quicker. Circle, circle, circle. Excellent. Now take it around to the other side. So we're bringing the arms forward. Core in strong. Keep going. Increase the pace a little bit more. Circle, circle. Yes. Let me know in the comments how you're feeling this exercise. Keep it going. Keep it going. Well done. Two seconds. Excellent. So next one coming up, we've got a, a lateral raise and then we're going to bend at the elbow. So we are taking your elbows close in and then taking the arms up to shoulder height and then back again. Soft supporting knees. Let's do it. So out and in. It's a bit like a seagull move this one. But we are not going to be aimlessly flapping our wings. We have got purpose. We are doing this and we know what we're activating. We're activating our deltoid, deltoid muscles on the top of our shoulders, along here. So you're gonna squeeze, and imagine there's a really heavy sack on the top of your elbows, and you're pushing your elbows up. Good, keep it going. Excellent, well done. Good stuff. Good, keep it going. Super, and breathe up. Whew. Right, next exercise, we have got straight arm pulses. So your arms are gonna come out to the side and we're just gonna pulse them up and down. What I would like you to imagine is that you're trying to get through lots of water and go up and push your way up, up, up through the ocean to the top to breathe. Go on, push, push, push. That's it, strong arms. Go on, you can do this. 30 seconds to go. That's it, bring those arms up to shoulder height before you flap them and push them down again. Keep them straight and strong. If you start letting your arms go all wobbly, you're not going to be activating the shoulders, so keep the arms strong and straight. You're doing well, come on, we can do this. That's it, 10 seconds, 10 seconds to go. Well done. Two. And one, bring it upright row. So roll the shoulders back, soft knees, tuck your pelvis under, and you're taking your hands up to your, your chest level and back down again. So usually using a kettlebell or some weights with this one, if you've not got weights, I would like you to imagine that you've, you've got something really heavy in your hands and you're activating. So you're pulling up, you're pulling up that kettlebell, squeeze your biceps. Good stuff, 
keep it going. Steady breathing, feeling strong and tall. Good, keep it going. Lovely. Squeeze those five steps, activate them. Excellent, come on. We can do this. You're nearly there. Good. So as you're doing this exercise, you can use your hands and clasp and reach and pull in. Keep it going. Woo, and breathe from that. So we're into a nice basic bicep curl. Elbows close into the body. You can do what feels comfortable for you, hands flat or into a fist. And we're gonna start with just a full range of movement coming up and down. Here we go, so up. And down. again, you need to really squeeze those biceps as you're coming up. Imagine there is a heavy chest on your forearms and you're trying to lift up. And down. Good. Right, we're going to pulse at the top. So pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Middle. And pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And no. Pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, Seven, eight, full range and up and down. Good, keep it going. Do one. Well. Five seconds left. Strong four. Two and one. Lovely, roll the shoulders back. Excellent, keep that going. And in for a shoulder press. So we're going to press the hands up to the ceiling and back down. Good. Now we're going to Push up and in. Ready? And up and in. Push the weight up. Good. Push the weight up. Push the weight up. So it's really easy just to go through the movement and not feel like you're activating. You've got to think about it and imagine that you've got a heavy weight on your fist and you're really pushing it up. Good. Keep it going. Now, there's some research been done and Tala and 2019, this year even, we looked at all the research about activating muscles during rehabilitation, and you can get the same results when you're actively activating during rehabilitation as using heavy loaded weights. So isn't that amazing? Breathe out there. Super stuff. So we've got a last exercise, diagonal pull. You're gonna take one arm to the side and bring it straight across the body, soft knees, you're coming across, and you're gonna get these pecs muscles working on the top here, the insertion points, and off we go. So, pull, what you might want to do is imagine you've got resistance in the air, and you're pushing it down. Good, pushing it down. We're gonna swap sides, coming up. That's it, look at your hand, going up to down. In three, two, and one, swap sides. Here we go, onto this side. Force down right across the body. So you're on the opposite knee. Keep it going. And two and one. Ooh, have a breather off. Just roll the shoulders back. Fantastic. We're going to start with our stretch. Okay. Take a deep breath and in for an easy roll back. Lovely. And roll it forward. So upper body, upper back stretch. Hugging. Tucking your head down, rounding off between the shoulder blades. Good, opening out between the shoulder blades there. Steady breathing. And come up, take your hands behind. Now instead of clasping your hands, you're just going to push them up and away. So you're doing a chest stretch, bringing the hands in behind you and pushing up and away. So we're not putting any pressure onto the inner side there, the wrist, and bring the hands in front. Now take one arm across the centre of your body and gently pull that arm towards you. This is a deltoid stretch. Stretch out through the top of the shoulder. Those shoulders have worked well for us today. Take that arm forward, reach up to the ceiling, bend the elbow. Good, and feel a stretch onto the back of the tricep there. Now you can use your supporting hand to push back. 
hand down onto the other side, so bring your arm right across the body, gently pull towards you. Now I've not have got any pressure on my wrist, my injured side, shoulders lift. I'm just using the forearm, which feels fine to pull the arm in towards me. So make sure you've got no pressure on your injured side there. Now the great thing about this workout is that you can repeat that. You don't have to stop here. You can go back to the beginning and do an extra repeater. And then that would be 24 minutes of an upper body workout, which is just bad. Really good. I would also recommend linking that with the lower body workout for the wrist. And I'll put the link down in the box below. That's our finish for today. So well done. Give me a thumbs up if you like that one. Excellent work. You took the time out today and you've done a positive step in moving forward and getting yourself back to normal. So. Till next time, ciao ciao.